Welcome to the Sunday Night Shooters edition of Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Zomer. Today, we're going to create the After 8. This recipe was submitted by Eric. We're going to do it with those Frat Toys ice shot glasses. Huh? So I don't know if they'll make it through the whole show, but we'll give it a try. Uh, this recipe is going to have Kahlua, Bailey's, and creme de menthe, or mint liqueur, whatever you've got. So it's going to be an After 8. If you're, if an After 8 would be a like chocolate, an candy. like an Andy's candy without the Andy's. Just the candies, or something. And what? Actually, they're a little more pepperminty, I think. I think I always look at the after eight as sort of like the upper scale, high end yeah. Andy's candies. Because look, Andy's candies are awesome, but I don't know. It's just like the after eight just come off more classy, more. Because they're always uh, in those fancy wrappers. Yeah, this is gonna be embarrassing. Oh, oh there we go. Wow. Haven't used that in a while, huh? No, apparently not. This stuff is dangerous. It like turns into cement. All right, so we're gonna do a half ounce of. You're gonna put it in your body. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in my body. This is what I do for the show. I'm not even gonna put the top back on because it's just gonna get worse. I'll do it after the show when I'm not taping and I don't look like a wimp. And we're gonna do so. We did our half ounce of mint, and we're gonna do one ounce full of the other two ingredients. And of course. Mint cuts through everything. It's like it's like a katana. Like it's like a ninja weapon. And because of that, you don't need a lot of it. You just need to have just a little bit to really get you the get the point across. And you leave the rest of the flavor to be the Kahlua and the Baileys, which together they should be they should be husband and wife. Because they're always together. They go good together. They go good together. They're like the king and the queen of the prom. Random. What's that? Brenda and Eddie. Brenda and Eddie, isn't that from Italian restaurant? Yeah. The king and Billy Joel? Prom. Oh, yeah. Wow, you went way back for the king and the queen of the prom reference. You should totally listen to Italian restaurant if you've never heard the song. Everybody's heard that song. Best song on the planet. Billy Joel rocks. And these shot glasses are a little bit tiny. And they're getting smaller by the minute. But they're also cleaning off my mat, so that's good. We got plenty in here to share. Because normally these... We have a problem, Houston. All right, I'm drinking. <laughs> shoot, shoot! Shoot! That I've never, that's a, that's a bug. My other drink has a hole in the bottom. <laughs> this Bright is a. lights and ice don't work. When you bring in a lighting, three-point lighting system, ice, warmer liquids, even though I chilled it, bad things can happen. So I've got a mess going on here that I will have to clean up later. But, oh man, I feel like I just, I lost this is like, oh, it's happening to this one. Drink it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a failure of an idea, but I like it. It's pretty funny. And it tastes just like an after eight. There's no doubt. Good mint, good chocolate. None of these are chocolate liqueurs, but you're still getting that, that chocolate from it. And the chill from the ice, obviously. <laughs> Um, really kind of takes off any edge of, if there was any alcohol in here at all. And Bailey's typically has that little bit of alcohol. You don't really get it from this, so you've got that advantage. If, you're not, if you just want to have something that's tasty, this would make, if you put a couple of these out after dinner around the table, I think you'd totally impress people at, at an after dinner party because it's not like you're going to get them wrecked, right? You're just you're just passing something out to kind of ease the moment. Um, also wanted to read a comment today. This one is from... Um, I don't know. It's from connecting. Hold on a minute. La, la, la. Full of awesome says uh, de. I don't know. De Wiesner or de de de, de Wiesner. Uh, it's if it's German. I did it the right way the first time. Uh, this is really great show. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing to learn about the ingredients that go into cocktails instead of just watching the drink and getting it all thrown together. Schomer typically starts off by telling us a bit about the drink itself or about its components, building the thing with everyday common man methods. Uh, this is a prime example of, of learning the hard way. Uh, gives the final drink a smell, and not in this case, uh, to let us know. Hold on. 
<laughs> smells like mint, to let us know uh, what he picks up there. Takes a taste and lets us know uh, what we should expect. There's a new episode practically every day, pretty much every day now, um, and I look forward to each one. I look forward to each one, too, because you never know what's going to happen, and that's what makes us cool. Also, don't forget we have a contest. Go back to, I don't know, one of the episodes this week, and I talk about the book I'd like to publish about recipes. I want to know what you think about t-shirts, what you think about basically merchandise, DVDs. What would you pay for a book that went through and taught you how to make cocktails the common way? Um, and if you submit something, comments, everydaydriggers.tv, uh, you can put them on alcoholsbyvolume.com if you want to. I'll find them. Uh, YouTube, wherever. Let me know and I'll enter you into a contest. I'm going to give away three of these um, these cool little party paddles for basically a party. So maybe instead of using ice that melts all over the table, you can use something like this. If you like these, you go to Frat Toys. If you like these, you go to PartyPaddles.com. And um, I'll link it on the in the show notes. But it's like 10 bucks. But if you want to try and win one, just tell me what you think about a book, ideas like that, merchandising and making maybe... I'd like to make some cool Hawaiian shirts with our logos on them. I think that would be cool. So I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and uh, we're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>